Hi, Leno here from LenoFX.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show how you can use the RGB Revealer for Final Cut Pro. You can find it in the Effects tab here. You'll see the list of 30 different effects and you can see them, skim through the effects or you can select the clip, skim, press spacebar to preview and then down arrow, spacebar again or up arrow, arrow so you can see the effects very fast preview them okay so here you can find 30 different effects and 7 addition, additional effects to combine with this one so let me show how they work you can let's say that I want to use the smooth fade 01 you can click and drag to the clip or you can select the clip double click on the effects on the effect to apply it you can preview and in the inspector you can change the speed the animation speed to normal for example to seconds or fast one second the slow is two seconds and 15 frames also you can change the color order to give a different look change the colors below you'll find the hue also you can shift the colors saturation and brightness let's play now let me apply another effect I'll select and delete this one and I'm going to use the zoom blur click and drag and you can change the zoom for the green channel the blue and the red channel to give a different look also you can reposition it so some of the effects have different additional parameters if you find that your computer is not playing smoothly you can go to the modify menu render selection after selecting the clip now let's play okay keep in mind that the animation will adjust to the beginning and to the end of the clip if I make it l longer this clip the out animation will adjust to the end of the clip now I have this clip and I want to apply the text option click and drag to it let's take a look okay and then here you can come to the inspector and change the text let me type drag and drop you can change the font and the size faster change the animation and the out animation if you don't want the in animation you can disable it and the out animation also you can disable it but what I'm going to do is I want another text at the end I don't want to say drag and drop and at the end I want to say multi-purpose so what I can do is add the effect again the first one I, I want just the built-in animation and the second one I want just the built out animation and here I can type multi-purpose change the size of the font if I want if you want you can change the color order and then we go to the next clip also you can apply 
the RGB revealer to text. I have this text and I'm going to apply the smooth zero one. And again, you can change the colors. Also, I want to add a bit of zoom out. And so I'm going to use the zoom effect. And here you can adjust the zoom forward slash. If you want, you can use the blur as well to blur the beginning of the animation. You can enable the in and out animation change the speed of the blur as well as the zoom if your clip is too short you can run into some issues let me show how to fix it this clip is only two seconds and seven frames long the animation is one second but then at the end you can see that the animation doesn't work properly. So the solution is to disable the out animation or you can stretch make the clip longer. Most effects require at least five seconds to play the beginning and the end of the animation. I have this scene and I'm going to apply the smooth fade, fade 01 to the clip and to the text the, the rotation subtle. Nice. Now I'm going to use the rotation one on this clip. To make the rotation more smooth, I'm going to apply the motion blur long you have the motion bur blur short this one make the movement more smooth but it takes longer to to render select the clip and go to the modify menu render selection let's play very nice if you want you can invert the rotation the rotation side has some different options. You can rotate from the right, bottom, or center. Page curl, you have some options to change the angle. The rotation corner, you have the rotation center. You can change the center point. So that's how you can use the RGB revealer for Final Cut Pro. If you have any question please let me know. Thanks for watching.